Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a broken wall. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to keep the default queue and we're going to go in on the wire make the wall a bit more thinner. Right. Uh, there you go, not to face selection. Oh yeah, you can see what I'm hitting down here. Uh, my mouse uh, the left mouse button as an inverted so with the default set up you, uh, my left mouse click will be your right uh, so we just extrude that out extrude this out extrude these out and what we're going to do is uh, extrude that out a bit more right. uh, no, okay. So what we're going to do is add a loop cut here, loop cut over here, so loop cuts here, loop cut there, and here, uh, and here. Right. Now we're going to do edge selection. It's down a bit. Uh, don't want it completely like, create like a normal piece, so break it up a little bit, get some sharp uh, edges. So, and now what we're going to do is we don't want to have a hole in the middle here, so um, how big do you want it? Uh, we do uh, this size. So make sure you select both sides. I'm going to hit I to true. And faces and the same on the other side. Let's get rid of them. Now we'll go back to the edge tool and select each side here. Now we'll do that so we can put it in for now. Yeah, it probably was a quick way, but yeah. Oh, okay. Do that. Select the wrong one. So if you select the wrong one and hit it, uh, make sure you go back so you don't have a uh, bad topology going on what you can't see. Uh, so we've got a nice little hole. Um, this is left over here. Um, so break the wall up a little bit here as well. Don't want it all very like a different brand name, but that's uh, so what you're aiming for. Uh, at the moment, I'm aiming for a uh, damage wall. Uh, uh, that's really not that right for me, but uh, I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know actually, I'll come up with this. So that's pretty much the wall itself done, but if you want it perfect, um, let's say, make sure you see an edit mode. Um, I want to add a cylinder in. Um, I don't want it capped or anything, so let's put it down. Um, let's put this down to 10. Quite low poly, but hey, good enough for what we want. Uh, just carry that a bit more. And what I'm going to do is duplicate that, 
a couple of times. Add the boot cut in there. And add the boot cut. And add the boot cut. And that is that. Uh, add the boot cut. That says perfect looking. Uh, uh, add three in here. Uh, oh. Okay, add three in here again. And add. Down, 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 let's say. Uh, okay, hold down alt and click on the third box and then move them around a little bit. The same here. Gets this one is a bit too far. So, to add two on this one. Add two here, make them up. Scale them down. Sometimes as well. Uh, if they're going to let me, yep, they're going to do maybe it's Friday. Uh, probably a good idea to do that more. Oh, a very small man or variation of it. Uh, pretty much um, the files added. Uh, if I wanted to add, um, let's say, um, we wanted this wall to have some sort of class on it. We're going to all the polygons around here. Do the same on the other side. And I'm going to hit I. And now what we're going to do is pretty much select. Well, you guys again, but this time I'm going to probably be selected as well. Oh, I did the right first time. Uh, what we're going to do is pretty much leave these parts out and where we kind of want um, it to have the class as the one. So if you want it checked down the bottom, I can leave the bottom out of the Okay, we can try and do X and Y. Scale that out a little. Okay, kind of working. Uh, now what we're going to have to do is brick wouldn't be perfect. And then we need to pass this and kind of add a bit more dimension there. Maybe um, add a loop cut here.
click through and um, you can do the same with the other side of the corner. We can do the different but we kind of turn the same side so I need to remove my file and things like that. And then worry about getting it exactly the same on the other side either. It helps uh, make sure it isn't the same on both sides. And that's pretty much what you will do around the whole um, wall, even the outside a little bit as well. Don't always have to add uh, another duplicate. So, just click on that. Probably you want to add another. Probably what we're going to want to do is select here and go over here. Drop the transition. No, don't want to add another. Follow this path here. Right, hit I. Scale that in a bit. So we can add a bit some more detail in here. Uh, even when you select the polygon for that wall, just put them out randomly. Yeah. The full effect, and then go in and then tweak the first hex wall. So that's pretty much going to be the big part of the change, and then the third hex is going to be kind of adding a little bit extra. So. Just fiddle with it till you've got something you like and to work up the detail. You could even um, try and sh uh, after you got like the base mesh of what you have with, you could even take it and sculpt it a little bit. Well, make sure you make it back up, sculpt it, and then um, make a little more back and forth uh, and extra detail onto it. Some more detail there. I can't select that. And that's pretty much um, all done. If you wanted to, you could actually sculpt it and stuff. Um, I'm probably going to save this and show you different techniques on how to texture and blender or even export it, make it a uh, ID map and taking um, GIMP or do other cool stuff in GIMP. So that was pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this was um, useful. Um, please comment, subscribe, or um, thumbs up if you liked it, if, it, if you found it helpful or anything. Uh, I will be uploading some more stuff. Like I said about texture and this wall in different techniques. So keep an eye out for them tutorials. Alright, catch you guys later. Thank you for watching.